Okay, so here I am. I'm back with this owl that has been base coated and contrasted or dry brushed and allowed to completely dry. So this is the fun part. Typically when I do these, I do several at a time. In this case, I just want to get some color on there to work with. And so I can now spray water over the statue to disperse color, much like I did when I was base coating initially. And then I take my color. This was a custom color. It's a brownish color. Uh, I get these at Home Depot. They're about $5 a container. And I have several different colors that I can work with. And then I can just mix what I need. So I'm just working with what I have, getting some color on the statue. And you can either water, put some water in a cup, or you can just water down the statue and then just apply the color like so. And the reason I do this is now Hopefully you can tell in this video, but you can see the undertones, especially when it dries. So I'm not going to do the whole thing. This is just to give you an idea of why I do what I do. I prefer those undertones to be there for a nice contrasting effect. So that was that brown color. And now for take the same brush even it doesn't really matter I'm just trying to get some color on the statue and then I just go over it but now being that the the color is watered down it allows for that contrast to shine through which is the white paint that I mixed with the base so and then you can just blend in your colors I'm going to add a little, little of this color here, has some yellows in it, some yellow pigmentation. And this is just getting the color on initially, and then detailed brushes are what I typically use last. I use watered down paint. My paints actually last a long time using this method. Another reason I do it. But that should give you an idea. I'm just going over that watered down brown, blending in a little bit. I'll pop that detail up more again later. It's going to rain here soon, so I don't have a lot of time. And if you find you've over applied, you can simply take your, your water and spray it back down because as long as this hasn't completely dried you can actually get this off and be back down to your base coat in contrast um, and then you just want to figure out what colors you want to put on there and how you want them and then just either apply it or allow it to completely dry and start over And this here, dripping down the side, that's fine. I choose to do the base of this last because that's an easy fix. All this water and colored paint dripping down and drying on there, easy fix. It actually helps for the statue to blend a bit. I even incorporate a little bit of that color in. Just gives it more dimension. So watered down paint, you can always thicken it up and do it however you want, but it should give you an idea. I prefer to have the detail shine through in different contrasts. I 
like I said, the base I'll do last. This is overall pretty easy because I want this base to contrast with this owl some. So, add a little white. And I like to blend all my colors before going over it. And when I'm done with this, I'll just wait until it dries and then I'll go over it again and work on that detail a little bit more. But if you have this concept down, Turn out pretty good. Straight white on there. And I'm literally just using my pant leg to brush some of this out. Now this white that I'm using right now, going over this watercolor, I simply just added it to my brush and I didn't add water to it. And it dries pretty quick. So you see that there. Now, because I just added it to my brush that already had paint on it, of course, it's not going to be straight white but that's fine that's the effect that I want for right now I'll worry about the rest of it later and then I just incorporate the colors even while it's still a bit wet and once you do this a few times you'll see just how easy it is to incorporate those undertones to make best use of that detail the base I'll worry about later so I'm just trying to keep this video simple just so you get the idea when I paint individual pieces no two are exactly the same but if I paint down a line which is my preferred method they all look very close I just do the same thing to each one of them down the line so we'll wrap this up here gives you an idea. So I'm going to leave this here where it's at, finish up the back, allow it to dry, and then I'll come back to it later.